I don't want to buy a book from someone I don't know anything about or have any background from. So I've been doing a little bit, but we're going to probably just touch the history part of Jehovah's Witness tonight. So we have been studying a strong man, spiritual warfare, for we did it 17 weeks. It took us to get through that. How many of them know that we learned a lot, didn't we? And I joked we could do it again because from 17 weeks ago, if I asked y'all, what did we teach on the first class? How many would remember? So we were like, let me get my book. <laughs> so uh, I had saw online that the book, The Strong Man, had a strong man too. And it's not a workbook style like what we've been working out of, but I've already had someone ask me to order them one of these. They're only $12. So if anyone is interested in getting this, I'm going to go through and see if it's something if we want to maybe next year, because we're getting into the end of the year this year, um, we might could get into this one. So we'll cover both books books of this class. Um, this is um, Binding the Strong Man. And um, this is the book two. So if anyone's interested and wants one, like I said, they're $12, just let me know and I'll get some order. Um, but I don't foresee us in the next three months getting into this book based on what we're talking about doing. So we're going to open in prayer. Um, Miss, Miss Patricia over here, we were talking on the phone and I told her about this and she was like, oh my goodness, we got to order that. And so she ordered, I said, can you grab me one? So she said when she opened the box, she expected the bigger book because this is a regular book. So we, um, I haven't really got to, I mean, just based on the material we got from the last book, I would foresee that this book is just as good. Does that make sense? So if you're interested, let me know. They're much cheaper than the first book. So that's on that. Let's have prayer and um, I'm trying to think. If you've been around, you know things are going to start changing drastically around here as we get ready to build a building. So um, just be praying as things happen. It's good to see you, Richard. It's been a while. Amen. Um, but we're going to um, pray that God, he puts his hand in everything that happens so that we know it'll be perfect. It'll be exactly the way God wants it to be. And um, Aloma texted me today and asked for prayer. She is up north went to a doctor and he said her hip is gone and she's gonna have to have a hip replacement so she said please pray i've been on, on this walker for a while now so y'all pray for her and then miss brenda she's been asking every day for me to pray for her knees and her sleep so y'all help us pray for her sherry my sister and her group um I'm just not feeling well and um sherry's work is just being a little silly so Let's pray about that. I'll be honest, if you talk to anybody, everybody's jobs are being a little silly right now. So let's just pray for everybody. How many know in this day and age, we just need God to go before us and take care of it. Amen? Amen. Um, that's all I can think of right now. Any other prayer requests? I have a friend that's got to have a bone marrow. A bone marrow? Yeah, bone marrow replacement. Yeah. Because of that. Well, they're going to take some from her or they're putting some they're in? They're going to take some out. All right, so they're going to be doing a test. No, those are pretty intense. What about you, Mom? Sister Rita. Sister Rita. Yeah. We just found out yesterday that Rita's husband was in the hospital for the last two weeks. What? And last night he passed away. Rita. Rita Griffin. So y'all pray for Rita. Um, as they get all of the arrangements taken care of for them. Is that, is that Amy Candy No. She's Griffin. Sherry's Griffith and she's Griffin. She sings with L Loretta sometimes. Miss Rita, she'll come and sit in the back. It's been a while since she's been here. All right, everybody, lift your hands, let's pray. Father, we just thank you tonight, God, for your goodness, your mercy, your blessings, God. Lord, we ask that you open our hearts to be receptive receptive of your word and God we just ask you Lord that as we learn um, about different people's beliefs God to help us be able to talk with others and give them the right word God we just ask that you move and work in our hearts tonight 
And Lord, that anyone that's watching online, that you will bless them. And Lord, encourage them in Jesus' name. And God, we thank you for healing to everyone that we just mentioned that needs miracles in their body. And those even in this room, some of them came and had pain. And God, we just ask you, Lord, that you'll move and work in each and every one of their, their bodies. And we thank you for it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Praise the Lord. Brother Richard, in a few weeks, we're going to be talking probably about Scientology. When I find out when it is, will you come talk, share? Because you're always down there. Yeah, yeah. I would love that. I'll let you know when it's going to be. So right. we've been asked several times about what people believe, and that's why we're doing a little study on it. So, all righty. So we've had conversations about Jehovah's Witness, um, the Church of the Latter-day Saints, Seventh-day Adventists, um, Scientology, Buddhism, Hinduism. I read an article today that Hinduism is considered the oldest of religions. Aren't they funny? I think ours beat, our, ours beat that. What about Buddhism? That's a Buddhism, yeah. Okay, so, but the church over in Springfield. Yeah, I know all about it. Has a big old. Uh, you know, I've actually, we've not been, I've not been in one, but years ago, Dad did tents. He rented tents, and we put a tent up in Palm River, and there's a big um, Buddhist um, home. And they have a temple there, and Dad and I were on property putting up the tent, and they had the doors open, and this big, big, fat, golden man statue sitting up there, and people were coming and going in and out, and they would have to take their shoes off. They weren't allowed to come in the room with their shoes on. There was no seats, no benches, no cushions. It was just straight out, little mats on the floor, and you, you, you got on your knees, and you said your prayers, and you got up, you come out, and got your shoes, and you left. So I'm like, good Lord, we have AC, and we have, they didn't have AC. It's just literally open. And these turkeys have got him in a temple they built him one out. That's what this one was, this one was too. And, and they bring them gifts. And they got all of them, uh, 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 what, the gay flag book. Yeah, I have no oh, idea. But well, we're not on that subject tonight. <laughs> I know, so we're going to talk about Jehovah Witness. I'm good, Sandy. We're going to talk about Jehovah Witness, and I'm going to give a little history. And um, I don't know how far we're going to get into the, to all of this, but we're going to. If I could just do all of it tonight and move on to another, that would be great. So that's kind of the plan. Um, but I may miss something, and if I learn something along the way, I'll let you know as I'm doing my studies. Um, Jehovah Witness are followers of Christian-based religion, um, best known for their door-to-door. -door, I forgot what I was doing. Let's stop. I want to do an offering. Let me. I don't want to get started. I'm like, this is how I've been. I went to order my food today, y'all. I walk up to the lady. I go, I would like chicken tenders, but I want the kids' meal because I never eat that much. And then I hear Kay ordering her food. So I start listening to Kay, and I'm ordering my food all wrong while I'm listening to Kay. Then I told the lady, that's not what I wanted. I wanted this. But can I have this? I don't know. I have to get a manager. The manager comes out, and then I wanted to have a cookie, and I got something else. And everything was just crazy. I'm like, what is wrong with today? I guess I should have prayed before I ordered my food. Miss Donna, would you help me with the offering? We're going to receive the offering. I'm going to sing a song. Everybody say, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. We're going to sing a song. Um, both of the gentlemen that were here, they slipped out, um, helped the church today and yesterday, um, I know yesterday for sure, and moving some buildings around in the property. Um, Mom and Dad's been praying about being very wise about spending money and what we spend money on. I mean, and we're supposed to be good stewards. And um, some of the stuff we have on property could be used. And so they begin to shift things around and try to make things work so that we can, because we, we, we always can add something later. Why? Because we've been approved. <laughs> we can do whatever we need to do. We want you to give tonight and let the Lord bless you. We appreciate everybody putting into the offering and, and, and meeting the need in the house. And we thank you for that. Let's pray. Father, we just thank you tonight, Lord, for blessing the people in the house, blessing the offering as they give, supplying the need in Jesus' name. And God, we thank you for all the greater things that are yet to come in this 
in this tabernacle. And we just thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. All right, Pastor. I think we're number two on that CD. Let's see if we can do it. This is You Are Good. Is he good to you? Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. People from every nation and tongue, from generation to generation, we worship you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yeah, we worship you for who you are. We worship you. Come on, tell him tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We worship you for who you are. You are good. Amen. He's good. He's good. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Oh, I want to hear you sing it. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Come on, people. People from every nation and tongue, from generation to generation, we were. Who you are. One more time. 
Come on and give the Lord a shout of praise. Amen. Hallelujah. And my band doing so good tonight. Amen. So I give them a round of applause. Amen. He's right by there. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. All right, let's 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 do a little bit of this, and it's real simple. We're going to do this a couple of weeks. If I don't see that everybody's really getting something from it, we're moving on to something else because I don't want to learn. I don't want to, I don't want us to do this and take away from him. Does that make sense? To me, I feel like this would be an added benefit to when you're talking to people, you know, where they're coming from and why they're saying what they're saying and why they believe what they believe. But if this doesn't benefit you and you're not growing spiritually, I cut it off and we're going to go back to something else because I'm not going to stay on something that's not feeding you or making you feel strong. And um, when you learn some of the facts of what they believe, it will amaze you that, that people could think that way. But you know what? They say the same thing about us. So, as I was saying, Jehovah Witness is considered a Christian-based religion. Um... They're a minimalist religion with followers believing that we are living in the last day. They believe that we're living in the last day right now and that Armageddon is approaching us fastly. That's where they believe. Jehovah's Witness are also known to their refusal of blood transfusions for not participating in politics, um, bearing arms, they don't celebrate holidays such as Christmas, Easter, or birthdays. The name of Jehovah Witness is said to identify both God and their mission. In Isaiah 43, 10, it says, you are my witness. In 2019, there were just over 8.5 million Jehovah Witness believers. In 200... Lands and territories. In 2011, there were 63,000 people in England, 8,000 in um, Scotland, no, in Wales, and Scotland had 1,700. And North Ireland identified as Jehovah Witness. How do Jehovah Witness believe? Jehovah Witness originated in the United States in the latter half of the 19th century with teachings from Charles Taz Russell from 1852 to 1916. The early 1870s, Russell established a Bible study movement, which heralded the International Bible Study Association in his hometown of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This was a Bible study group in the... Um, Avistant, it's eight, okay, church, um, seven day at Ven Venice, there we go, at Venice tradition. Although Russell claimed never to have been at um, Venice and was part of, he was not part of Ellen White seven day at Venice traditions. In 1879, Russell published a magazine, Zion's Watchtower, and Herald of Christ, Christ's Presence, which would become the Jehovah Witness main publication. The Watchtower, um, in early 1800s, Russell established Zion's Watchtower Track Society. In 1909, the headquarters was moved from Pennsylvania to Brooklyn, New York, where it remains until... It moved to Warwick, New York in 2017. Russell was succeeded by a lawyer, Joseph Franklin Rutherford, in 1869 through 1942, who became the second president of the Watchtower Society. So have y'all ever heard that term, Watchtower, in relationship to the Jehovah Witness? Um, who coined the name, he coined the name Jehovah Witness. In 1931, Rufford introduced many of um, distinctive features of Jehovah Witness, including um, acceleration of the house-to-house -house evangelism, not participating in politics, military services, not celebrating Christmas. In 1942, 
And there are people in here that were in that time frame in 1942. So this guy was in 1942. He began to change some of the... Isn't it interesting? The Bible says that God, God's word is, was, and always will be. God says that he does not change, right? He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Yet their religion had changes halfway through. Of what they believe and what they don't believe. And that's something. Another thing that's interesting about different people that believe stuff. Um, the word of God has, has was started before them. And their basis is rooted from the word of God. They just changed it to what they want it to be. How much more does, does that tell you how wrong it is? When it's changing something to fit their criteria. Are y'all with me? All right, let's see here. 1942, Ruff, um, Rufferford was succeeded by Nathan Homer Korn. It's K-N-O-R-R. -R. 1905 to 77, who began the training programming for the office bearers that won the movement more um, won the movement and more converts. Um, he oversaw the 1961 publication of the New World Translation of the Holy Scripture in the modern English Bible. It was the version of the Bible that was most Jehovah Witness used today. Primarily in it is primarily in its 2013 version. All right, so let me say that again for those that are needing to know. Um, the New world translation of the Holy Scripture is the King is the Jehovah Witness Bible. Do you know that um, Muslims have a Bible? Do you know Satanic occults have Bibles? Now how how interesting where I work when I started there in 2008, no, 2008 eight years ago when I started there, there was a young lady who claimed to be agnostic. Well, first she claimed to be atheist, and then she claimed to be agnostic. Well, they turned the name of a document that we have that carries all of our information, the Bible. I just thought it was funny. Um, my boss, y'all know who that is, I just can't say names, will come to me and say, can you print the Bible? And I'm like, this is the craziest thing. But how many people use that term? What does he say in his word? I am the word. Amen. I, I, the amen. The way, the truth, and the light, right? All righty. So, the, the latest version was in 2013, and it's called the New World Translation of the Holy Scripture. Um, Jehovah Witness have two main legal incorporated institutions in the United States. The Watchtower Bible Track Society of Pennsylvania and the Watch uh, um, Watchtower Bible um, and the Track Society of New York. The Christian Congregation of Jehovah Witness is responsible for um, they're responsible for creating the official policies. All righty, and see what else in here. There's so much stuff, y'all, so much stuff. Um, the Jehovah Witness governing body has overall the authority for the movement. In 2019, it was composed of eight men. Although it is not fixed number and has changed over the years, the current president, of, president, not God, there's a, I mean, I know in churches there's presidents, vice presidents, but they're a corporation. Are y'all with me? Yeah. Amen. Whether we are under this house and this full gospel tabernacle, we're incorporated. Even with all of that, our main basis is that we serve Jesus, that we love him, and that we, if I was outside of this church and wasn't part of this church, guess what? I'd still be who I am in Christ, right? All right. Um... So it was composed of eight men, the president um, of the Jehovah Witness, who are not members of the governing body, um, are Robert 
I don't know how to say his last name. He was born in 1947. Harold um, Cochran was born in 1951, president of New York and the Pennsylvania Society, respectfully. So interesting fact, women are not allowed to join the governing body and are not eligible to be in any office of, con of the congregation as either the elder or ministerial servants as a woman are not permitted to teach to hold any authority over men. They can, however, hold senior positions as administrative researchers in, in a Bethel, um, which is the house of God, a branch office of region or headquarters. Growth is largely through um, conversion rather than um, internal growth. The fastest of, the fastest of grow, growing membership population currently in Africa, Asia, and South America. So they're working in other countries now even more. And we read where they were founded. Where were they founded? Right here in America. Yeah, so they're working to go everywhere else. Guess where our Lord and Savior laid his feet down? In another country, amen? And interesting. I mean, these facts are just interesting to think about how things are and how people believe certain things. Do you know tomorrow you could wake up and say you want to create a religion and you could start and you would eventually have people follow you? Because people are looking for something. And if they think you offer it, just about two months ago, my cousin came in here and she was completely destitute, dealing with grief, and she just started reaching out to anybody and everybody on Facebook trying to find somebody that would help her. They talked about the goodness of God and the mercy of God and the love of God. And they talked about all that good stuff. And then they told her God was in, God was in um, China and it was a woman. She was completely baffled because everything that was said made her think they were talking about God in heaven. She said, and then when she told them she didn't believe what they believed, they began to curse her. And, and bash her on social media, send her awful messages, and here's, this is a person who just said, I'm broken, I'm about to fall apart, and because she disagreed with them. What's the difference with God? He, he turns the other cheek, and he just waits patiently, right? He's loving and kind and merciful. He didn't go, he didn't go well, if you're not going to love me today, well then fine, I won't have anything to do with you. Our God doesn't do that, right? Alrighty. Members alive in 1914 expected to be the generation that would witness, they were expected, are y'all here? They were expected that they would witness the Armageddon in 1914. Can I also tell you, they really think they know when the end of time is going to be. What does the Bible say? Nobody, Nobody knows that, right? Um, the generation that will not pass away. However, in 1995, the governing body revised the generation doctrine. They changed their doctrine so that it would suit what had happened. Because heaven, Lord, don't let them find out we made a mistake. Don't let them hear, all the new people hear that we were wrong in what we said. Are y'all with me? Jehovah Witness believe that Armageddon will um, occur within a lifetime of those who live overlap the 1914 generation. 1975 was another date significant. Um, um, interpreted as the start of the seven, seventh millennium. Many witnesses expect that the date marked the start of Christ's reign in 1975. And I'm going to find, eventually get to it, their theory of who Christ is is not the way we believe. They believe that Christ is just another name for God, and God is the all-knowing all God. Almost to the point that Jesus wasn't born in the flesh and came to this earth. You know what I'm saying? All right. During, let's see, in 1975, another date was significant. Um, it marked the seventh millennium. I read that. Since 1975, there's no dates that have been set by Jehovah's Witness. Why? Because they keep messing up. They ain't setting no more dates. 
How many prophets, oh, let's say it right, false prophets carry on about dates and they go and they come and go and everybody's like, you know what, you're not in charge. You can act like you think you know things, but if God's in charge, I don't know about you, but I've only had a few times in my life that God told me something that he wanted me to share that came to fruition. Does that make sense? When it comes to myself, me personally, he tells me a lot about myself. But very seldom does he tell me to tell all y'all, y'all better get it right by Tuesday, July 14th, or you're going to all die and go to hell. You know, he doesn't do that to me. It's not something that I do. Why? It's not something that he does, because we don't know. We don't know what, what, what time holds, right? How many of you know that when we are close to the Lord, that we sense the, 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 the nearness of God? Does that make sense? Yes. How many know the closer we get to God, you look at a cloud and go, Whoo, is that you, Jesus? The closer you get to God, wait a minute, is that you right there, Lord? We're looking for him, amen? Amen. amen. During Armageddon, it is believed that Christ will lead many armies of angels and defeat Satan on the earth. How many know what they say? They believe that God will beat Satan on the earth and God will make earth heaven. Did y'all know that about Jehovah's Witness? They believe heaven is not up in the sky somewhere. They believe what you're standing on right now will become heaven. That's what they believe. Um, then will follow the millennium, a period of a thousand years, which will be the time of paradise on earth, led by Christ, ruling in heaven. Um, a chosen people, 144,000, will be co-rulers with Christ in heaven. They are known as the anointed class. Guess what? If you just get appointed in Jehovah Witness right now, you're not a part of that group. And how, how, how we're talking from 1914 to 2023. More than 144,000 people have been born on this planet. So you're telling me from 1914, that 144,000 has already died, a new 144,000? Does it logically make sense? What it makes sense to me is they're saying none of us qualify. We don't believe in eternity. I mean, like, God is eternal. Our God. Is eternal. They believe that this will be heaven and that we will rule and reign here and that will be our eternity. Isn't that something? But 144,000. That's all they believe that's going to have a rule and reign. Okay, let me put it this way. Their theory is that the 144,000 will get to go and rule in heaven. Everybody else, you're just stuck here. That's what I'm saying. How did they get this? This is the word that they get. All right, let me look. Let me get back where my spot is. I'm only going to go a few more minutes and then we're going to stop. Okay. I kind of lost my spot. Jehovah Witness believe in the end of time, Armageddon. Here's the, I'm looking for the 144,000. There it is. A chosen 144,000 will be co-rulers co with, with Christ in heaven. They are known as the anointed class. It is believed that the 144,000 are, are already in heaven, so none of us are qualified. I know what I just said. Jehovah's Witness believe that they began, uh, they began to be chosen in the time of Jesus, and they, be, they began to take their place in, in 1918-1919. Mom, they were chosen in Jesus' day. So they're already with Jesus. But they're taking their place in 1918. Now y'all know that's been more than 100 years. How are they translating their words today? You know what I'm saying? It just blows me away, the foundation. How many know I'm glad that our foundation is solid? Come on. Anything you read in the Bible, people get so confused. They're like, oh, well, the Bible says this, but I don't understand why this. Well, no, you read the Word of God and it's very clear. Be peacekeepers. 
be lovers, work, work in the fruits of the Spirit. He's very, very clear about what we need to do. He says that you need to accept Him as your Lord and Savior. Ask Him to forgive you of your sins. Believe that Jesus came and died. These are very specific things, right? And does He say, I'm sorry, but you're not one of the ones? No, He says, all of my children are going to come with me and be with me in heaven. Isn't that what He said? When Jesus comes, He's going to come back and get His bride, us, our, His children. Amen? Um, it is not only the Jehovah Witness who have opportunity to be saved during Judgment Day. God will re uh, resurrect both the righteous and the unrighteous who currently are sleeping and all can be saved through the acceptance of Jehovah. Those who accept Jehovah but who are not part of the 144,000 will form a great crowd. People from all the nations will, will survive the great tri tribulation leading up to Armageddon who will live in paradise on earth. How many has heard that term before? Mm -hmm. Jehovah Witness talk about paradise on earth. Jehovah Witness teach that um, ultimate destiny. The majority of the, Christ the true Christians is not in heaven, but everlasting life on earth. Um, the righteous will possess the earth and they will forever... Um, and will live forever on it. So what they believe is that once all of these things take place, this world will be transformed into a peaceful place. Their actual statements are that the lion and the lamb will lay together everything. There will be no murder. There will be no nothing. So I have questions that I would love to ask some of them. One, so will we still be eating then? I'm, I'm, Y'all are looking at me like, what is she? If we're here on earth and it's paradise, will we be spiritual? Or will we be human? Because that's not in their terminology. And if we're eating, what will we be eating? And if the animals are eating, what will they be eating? I'm just, it's just a curious question because we're going to live in, in, in harmony together on this earth. I just, See, in heaven, when we get in heaven, we'll be in, Dad always jokes, he's like, I'll just go, and I'll go over to your mansion, I'll go over to your mansion, <laughs> go and hang out at Jesus' at Jesus' feet at the throne, right? <laughs> All right, how do they practice their faith? Jehovah Witness are known for their missionary activities, witnessing Jehovah, uh, Jehovah usually through um, distribution of literature, either going door to door in neighborhoods or, or, or in more recent years, operating literature stands, public places such as railway stations, shopping centers. Their main magazine is the Watchtower and Awake. If a member of the public express interest, Jehovah Witness will attempt to establish a regular home visit for a free Bible study course. Baptized Jehovah, Jehovah Witness engaged in this practice. They are known as publishers. We're known as servants. We're known as um, ministers. We're known as, <laughs> they're known as publishers. Isn't that interesting? Jehovah Witness um, practiced baptism by immersion of an adult or an older children, typically 13 to 16. They won't do anyone, anyone won't baptize anyone younger than, than 13. Congregational life is very important to Jehovah Witness. Members meet together in the Kingdom Hall for weekly meetings and meetings on one on one every every one on on one weekday evening. And the weekend meetings include public service, including singing, prayer, and Bible talk, following by the study of passages and outlines and study of addition, additions of their Watchtower magazine. All congregation studies are the same passage the same day. So whoever is in Plant City and whoever is in Tampa and the, and the what do they call that place, Kingdom Hall, they're all doing the same scripture the same day. They sure do. Everybody does nowadays. Yeah. Um, Jehovah Witness do not celebrate religions. They don't uh, are festivals usually marked by other Christian traditions such as Christmas, Easter, because they're pagan undertones. Instead, they only 
have one annual festival, a memorial of Christ's death of the Lord's evening meal, which is a com 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 how do you say that word? Karimun? No, maybe we'll go with that of Christ's death and ransom of sacrifice because of um, humankind. The service takes place in March or April during the month of uh, Nices, which is Passover celebration of the Jewish people. The service takes place at sunset on the 14th day of Nisai, um, a date that usually corresponds with the first full moon after spring um, equinox. It says members are encouraged to bring guests, attend the services, and is higher than for other witness services. In 2019, there were more than 20 million attending attendees worldwide. Lots of people, right? Let's see here. Jehovah Witnesses are known for their opposition for blood transfusions. Um, it's been known, very well known, that if they're in the hospital and their life depends on a transfusion to live, they won't take it. They would rather die than to take the transfusion. Um, it's against their, their belief. They are blood. Um, it says their op opposition of blood transfusions. They believe blood is scarce, um, um, is scarce in, in injustice of prohibits several biblical passages. The passages are interpreted to include taking blood into your body. Um, witnesses carry no blood advanced decision documents. Um, a Jehovah Witness who accepts blood transfusions are disfellowshipped from their church. They're cut off from everyone they know in the community. Um, I personally know someone who the husband had an affair, they went to the church for counseling, they dis disfellowshipped both of them. And then about two months later, they reached out to them and said they would have counseling with the one that didn't have the affair. Does that make any sense? The one that did have the affair needs to get, get his life straightened out, right? But that's how it was. And then eventually they'll, they'll come around to having that, but that's how they do it. And they're required to like come to specific classes and they have to do all those things. All right, disfellowshipping. Um, one of the, is one of the disciplinary methods of Jehovah Witness. It's cutting off, expelling the individual from the community. This does not happen automatically if a member sins, but only if he or she is unrepentant of their sin. Removing the unrepentant sinner is a is believed to maintain the purity of the congregation. So the congregation can't solely be together if there's a sinner in the midst. Anybody out there bring the sinners to church? Yeah. Right? How else are we supposed to learn from God if we're not put in a position to receive the word? Right? Um... If there is sin, the elders appointed are like a judge community of three elders that will investigate the case through an interview, interviewing and, and uh, acu the interviewing the accused and the witness according to biblical requirements. They must be at least two witnesses um, to the offense, sometimes called two witness rule. This was called. This caused problems with the Jehovah Witness handling of the report of abuse cases. When the wit witnesses disfellowshipped, other members, including friends and family, are expected to have no contact with the the shunned individual. So, just for instance, be a mom or Jehovah Witness. I mess up. They discommunicate me from the church. She's no longer allowed to talk to me at all. And she's my mother. Because I have been discommunicated. This is how intense it is. They can't do anything. They're not allowed to call them, not allowed to talk to them completely until they, they've made their, their sins right. And that's something. Um, 
This includes friends and family are expected to have no contact. A Jehovah Witness claims that they, disfellowship members, is able to repent and return into their faith. They have to go through a certain regimen of things. The Jehovah Witness handles reports of cases of abuse and sexual abuse within moment within movement. Um, has caused controversy. While victims and their families could be reporting abuse to appropriate authorities, elders also conduct spiritual investigations into the sin and alleged predator. Um, there are historical reportings of young women have, having to recount their claims of sexual abuse before being allowed back into the community. It didn't happen. Okay, you can come back in now. Is that crazy? Jehovah Witness um, have been included in um, Australian Royal um, Commissions under the Institution of Child Sexual Abuse. Um, there have been numbers of recent legal cases all over the world. Um, that's the pretty much the most of it. It talks a little bit about politics. Um, by facts, Jehovah Witness was found in 19, I'm sorry, 1870 in Pittsburgh. Marsha, remember that. There are 8.5 million witnesses worldwide. Approximately half of them are in the United States. So four and a half million people in the United States of America are Jehovah Witness. The most significant de departure from the other Christian denominations is the belief that Jesus is ruling from heaven since 1944 to begin the end times and the end of the world. Jehovah Witness believes that when a person dies, their existence completely stops, but can be resurrected. Resurrected. They believe that when um, this world ends, there will be a separation of heaven and earthly paradise. Only some faithful Jehovah Witnesses will reach the heaven with Jesus. Anyone um, else who is saved, those who uh, prove themselves to be loyal, Subjects of Jesus will live on earth, uh, on the earthly paradise. Jehovah Witness believes that Jesus did not die on the cross, but that on a single stake, and thus not, uh, thus do not um, recognize the symbol of the cross. Um, they believe he died on a single stake, y'all, and they don't They don't. Okay, they're not allowed to wear crosses at all. It's against their belief. Um, not on their clothes. Not if they showed up or were seen by the one wearing one, they would be discommunicated. Um, Jehovah Witness main, maintain a degree of separation from secular world, unlike members more extremely um, se separate traditions. Witness both live and work among secular communities and send their children to secular schools. However, they refuse military service, voting, and they take um, taking a part of any most secular celebrations like birthdays. That's the five common things, the five things you need to know. Um, and there was something else on here I thought I read. Let me see if I can find it real quick. So, in Pentecostals, who gets saved? Anyone who believes in Jesus, right, and accepts him. Um, Jehovah Witness say anyone who chooses by his own free will to lit to believe and accept God's gift. Um, can they lose their salvation? Jehovah Witness says, yes, a Christian can lose his ability of salvation. Um, gosh, that was some, I, this is like, I can print this out. It's a whole bunch of questions from Pentecostal believers to Jehovah Witness believers. Um, questions like... Um, how should a church be structured? Can one be baptized on behalf of someone else? Just all kinds of questions. Anyway, I think that's it. There was one, something else that I had, but I don't see it right now, so maybe I didn't bring it. All right. Any questions on Jehovah Witness? We got the history of it. We understand that they believe that one day the earth will be paradise. We understand that we're not one of the 144,000. <laughs> yes? The Bible that you said that they have said it 
Uh -huh. What was that burden? Let me get it. And is that just for them or does anybody? It's, it? it's specifically a Jehovah Witness Bible. I know, but do they have that like in a Could, bookstore? Oh, for sure. I bet, I bet so. I'll look into that and see, Mom. Okay. She's just curious if it can be bought anywhere else. Um, gotta find out which page it's on. And, and does that Bible literally have the, the books of the Bible like we have? That's an interesting thing. Okay. I'll ask. I'll look into it. I've never seen one. Anybody got Google? She's wanting to know, we'll look and see if I can get my hands on one, how it's set up. She's wanting to know how the Bible's set up. Does it have books in the Bible like we do? Um, what's it called, and is it able to be bought anywhere? I'm pretty sure you can buy it anywhere. I can't find the paper. We'll look for it at the Goodwill. They got behind it. Sister Sandy says she's going to look for it at the Goodwill. Uh, let's see here. I was just wondering if they changed the scriptures. Well, I, I, like they want to. oh, I imagine, I imagine it's some similar to us and some of their own. I will tell you just in the last week, just so you know, if you have an NIV Bible, Matthew chapter 18, verse 11, look up that scripture because in the King James, it's there and the NIV, it's gone. The whole scripture. So I was stating that this week that the translations of the Bible, you have to be careful and some people say, Tina, well, King James is so hard to read because it's so, and I get that, I get that, but you need to do your study on it so you know what that word, that scripture means before you go picking up another translation because a lot of the newer translations drops out significant parts that was meant to secure us so that we didn't mess up, right? What happened to the Jesus getting made up of cat and nine tails? You don't find that in that Bible. I don't know. I can't speak for their Bible. We're gonna we're gonna get one. It's called the New World Translation of the Holy Spirit, Holy yes, Scripture. Buy it on Amazon for thirty five dollars and twenty nine cents. Thirty five dollars on Amazon, Mom. Mom said no, we don't need that bad. Literally, I imagine you could scripture. probably get one. You could probably get an app, and you could see if it has scriptures. I don't have my phone, so I can't. Yeah, I had somewhere in here. That's what I was trying to find. It, it gave a description about what they say Jesus is. And I'm not seeing it in these notes. And that's what's blowing me away. Let me see. This is the only paper I haven't looked at. It's just history. Um, because there was a thing that I read today. And it said that, that they considered Jesus, his name um, is God, Yeshua. They consider Jesus the same. So I don't have like a lot of detail on about Jesus and his death and all that with Jehovah Witness um, in this notes. I can do some more research and we can do a little bit more later on it. But for the base, that's kind of where they're at. So I don't know about you, but I'm going to heaven. Amen. I attended one time. You did? Yes. Cold Rock, Maryland, North Maryland. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And uh, I gotta tell you, it was very strange. And the music that they sang was very morbid. I didn't ever go back again. <laughs> <laughs> she said it was very strange. Very strange. All righty, well, we're gonna stop there. We did it, we got done in time for any other questions before I move on. All right, let's pray and dismiss. And like I said, if I see that. We're not getting anything out of it, then we're going to move on to something else. When, when you hear how limited they are, how blessed we are for mm -hmm. how much we have got in the Word of God, they, they just, they, they are so deceived to think that that's all there is to it. I don't, I'm going to look a little bit further, but I don't think they believe in healing. They, they, don't, they don't believe that Jesus is God. Exactly. He's a teacher, a great teacher. Yeah. Um, they don't believe in healing. Yeah, I did the last time they were at my house too. Yeah, I did too. 
All righty. All right, well, let's pray. Thank y'all for coming. Amen. I'm going to go back on talking about spiritual warfare next Tuesday. No, just kidding. I got a new book. <laughs> got a new book. We'll have to try this one out. Amen. But um, at least we kind of get a little bit of ideal. Um, how many of you have ever had any any of the information, known any of the history, or know anything about the, that, that subject we talked about tonight, Jehovah Witness? A little bit of it. Yeah. A little bit here and there, but not a whole lot. Mm -hmm. All righty. They don't have a whole lot. Right? Everybody say, Lord, Lord bless, us, bless us, keep us, bring us back again. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. God bless you. We love you. Shake hands, be friendly. If you need anything, there's goodies over in the other building. If you need any prayer, just see us. Come see us. Amen. We don't want anybody to leave without what you got, what you need. Amen? All righty.